Hello, Ryan Loner, back one more time for the Doctor Who Series 8 finale, Episode 12, Death in Heaven. You may recall I was not that fond of Part 1 of this finale. It was uh, basically just uh, the classic Part 1 where it's just one big tap dance until the cliffhanger with not much in to interest it uh, in itself. But uh, the upside is that means hopefully the real story is in Part 2 and it will make that worth it. This season has had more hits than misses, despite my complaining about a lot of it. So, um, it's all in good fun. Just remember that. And let's uh, get into this thing. It uh, From the timer I'm looking at right now, it is a full hour long. So, um, hopefully that does mean good things, and it doesn't just mean something like the end of time, where it's just a bunch of cheap fan service that just gets dull after a while at the end. I'm guessing Moffat would be above that kind of thing more than Russell T. Davies. Starting now. And of course we start with a previously sequence. I'll take this opportunity to say that whole thing about the Master saying like sh now that she is a woman she can't call herself the Master anymore. That, that's been bugging me because why? Why can't a woman not be named the Master? Like, it, you watch Stephen Moffat's stuff long enough, uh, all of his shows together, there is this, like, real undercurrent of sexism through it. Like, any single episode, it doesn't come through, you kind of don't notice it, but put them all together and you'll see. Boy, I timed that pretty well. I wonder how comfortable those suits are. I'm guessing not very. I don't know who you are. I've never known who you are. That's a problem. I like how it looks like they're crying. Like that little dent off the eyes. And of course they write this scene entirely so they could misrepresent it in the trailers. I'm really grown to hate that trick in the last few years. Like Seriously, anyone on the off chance that is anyone on the off chance who's listening to this that they are writing a TV show right now, stop it. Don't do this anymore, because I'm really getting sick of it. Oh, they put Clara's eyes in there, that's interesting. All right, Moffat, impress me. Am I supposed to recognize this actress, by the way? Now, wasn't there a big Cyberman attack a while ago? I don't think this will be happening. Like, the show usually has a very dim, like, uh, look at uh, humankind's ability to ignore important things. Basically because, uh, like, it's the only way they can keep the status quo going anywhere, like, normal. And I just missed something important talking over that, but luckily I had the subtitles on, so I know what's happening. In case you were worried about that. I like her. Like, it's really great that after Nicholas Courtney's death, they were able to keep like the Lethbridge Stewart name in the show. Hmm. 
continuity. You know who he is? Have they ever been able to fly before? Like, I'm really not up on my Cybermen, like, research, whatever you want to call it. Oh, it's St. Paul's, that's what it is. I'm not a Londoner, I don't know it on site, sorry. How long did they take to figure that out? Also, like, with the whole Master Coming Back thing, they seem to have, like, completely undone all of the characters' uh, like development that Russell T. Davies was at such pains to get, get him through. Like, it's kind of like Ducat from Deep Space Nine, if you, anyone remembers that. Oh yeah, you're still here. I like this guy. Oh my god, they've come into sex tape. I'm very worried now that this means they're killing off the black guy for real again. So basically they're doing this because soldiers are evil. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah, I can see how you missed that until now. Um, my favorite, one of my favorite, like filmmaking tidbits: real rain doesn't look real on film. So you might find yourself in a situation where you're outside in a pouring downpour and having to set up a rain machine. Just picture that, it's hilarious. So we're kind of going back to the waters of Mars now. What do you mean you're being told? You know they've invaded publicly many times before. 
Seriously, are we supposed to just ignore that? Yeah, the Titanic's going down. This is a very Return of the Living Dead scene. Bit of House of Wax, too. Yeah, kind of got a point there. How about Harriet Jones? She's the master. That's a short story. Anything you can sum up in three words is a short story. That's it. Debris told me that. Boat one. Is that a British thing? Thunder Risen is a good show. Check it out. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, there it is. Soldiers have to be evil this series for some reason. Haven't seen Captain Scarlet. Same people, though, I know that. And, like, didn't they work on, like, the old Doctor Who episodes for a while? That might be an in-joke. I so want to do that every time I see a sugar bowl. Yep, Stephen Moffat wrote that episode, and then he forgot that uh, the, the daughter, I forget her name, survived at the end. This is also, like, I think kind of a nod to the fans, like, getting upset that uh, they refused to give us a female doctor. Well, that didn't work. Mm -hmm. 
So that's his big identifier then. Like, seriously, I'm, I get the sense that I'm supposed to recognize this actress, but I'm really not up on British TV shows, so I got nothing. Not sure what I was supposed to get from that. Is that a slam on David Cameron? I'm going to assume it is because that makes me makes me amused. You know what they are, you've seen them before. No, I'm never going to let that go. I was in this uh, like indie, low-budget movie in college. You'd never heard of it, it was never released, but uh, we filmed in a graveyard and it was a weird experience. Yeah, this is Night of the Living Dead now, absolutely. Yeah, that's a creepy shot. That's a good one. Well, that's the newest thing Moffat's pulled out of his ass. Just throw gold at them. I worked before. Yeah, I know that much about Cybermen.
So is that thing about like uh, the master picking Clara for something ever going to be followed up on? I assume so, but they're, they're kind of running out of time to do it in. Unless it was just getting the Doctor in there in the last episode, in which case that's really a weak payoff. Yeah, this is Night of the Living Dead, too. That's not how it goes. It's a mod to green. So, like, she has 10's glasses, 11's bow tie. Nothing from 9 that I'm seeing. I'm kind of ripping off Avengers here. Pen's leaking there. Is that something I'm supposed to be noticing? So, like, she can teleport now, out of nowhere. Thank you, Moffat. And there you go, more, like, of the, like, encroaching sexism of Moffat. Of course, he'd go for a like interesting female character who exists just to die. It's 
It's called Stuffed Into the Fridge, and it happens depressingly often. Yeah, that's got some subtext to it. Like Peter Capaldi was a huge fan of that, like Cree's era as a kid. And Claire is basically so far Vampire from Plan 9. Like, she's in the story, but she's not actually in it, if you know what I mean. And I think you do. Like, I, I still have, like, some hope that it, she's going to do something by the end, but so far she's just wandering around doing nothing. That's kind of sad. Yeah, look at what you did. So, like, there's still, I guess, a chance that they're not killing off the black guy, but uh, it's getting slimmer. Mm -hmm. Is that a Twilight Zone reference? I'm going to assume so. You know, she's trying, she really is, but, uh, you know, it's just really artificial what she's doing. Mm -hmm. That's supposed to be a surprise, because it was kind of obvious when she showed up.
Okay, so this is the payoff. That's good. Sounds good to me. But first, padding. And stuffed into the fridge again. That's a very British joke. So who is this guy supposed to be? Okay, thank you for that. There was no twist to him. What? Am I supposed to get something out of that? I love that guy. I hope he goes on to a lot more, assuming he isn't a huge name already, because as I said, I'm not really up on, like, British celebrities. So now we've got a bit Moonraker, and it's a good one.
So maybe he is, like, going to stay alive somehow with this. So that's good. Yeah, thanks, Napoleon. Okay, so maybe this is where all that, like, Army's Evil stuff was going, but it, I'm still going to say it, it wasn't worth it. Like, spending all that time making us question if we were actually supposed to agree with it. Now, I would say it's uh, like at least interesting seeing the man get killed for the woman's development, because that's the opposite of the way fridging usually goes. But, uh, you know, throw in that she's white and he's black, and it still like has real unfortunate implications to it. Well, she's done nothing the whole episode. The hell does that mean? I'm not getting this. Don't explain the joke even if it's not a good one. Just makes it worse. I'm guessing, like, this whole storyline was constructed backwards from that moment.
know, this is kind of like giving the character depth again, but it, it has kind of nothing to do with his like development before in the John Sim version. So still not feeling much of it. Yeah, thanks for reminding us of the season's worst episode. No, oh, don't say that, Doctor. Oh, thank you. Oh, well, it makes more sense than Interstellar. Oh yeah, I went there. This is a long scene, just tip me. Still not worth it. Yeah, writer contrivance. Yep, pretty much.
kind of not worth it. This is kind of how I'm hoping the end of Justified goes, if anyone watches that. Yeah, writer's contrivance. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, I'm, I'm impressed by this. So, 40 years of build-up and you can only do a Benny Hill salute with that. And given that, like, the actor really is dead, that's kind of creepy. Okay, so at least he didn't, like, sacrifice himself to save a white person, because that was... that kind of, like, makes this better.
Like for, for a couple of seconds, I thought that it was just a seriously unimpressive effect, but to, yeah, that that's good. They make good music. Yeah, Capaldi's good at that. I don't like hugging. It's no big, doesn't have to be a big psychological reason behind it. So, like, if she's really leaving the show here, dare I ask for a, uh, like, minority companion next? Because the show has really, like, not been good in its track record with that. We got, what, Martha and Mickey for however little he was a companion, and then no one else. And that is the end of the episode, so, uh, it was not great, good. I think Moffat really loves these big moments that uh, fall to pieces when you apply any kind of logical thought to them, and that's exactly what we got here. But, you know, for something fun to watch, it's good, and Murray Gold always brings it with the music, so... For a while, like, honestly, he was the one thing keeping me watching the show, but, uh, like, the writing's gotten back on track a bit. New Doctor has uh, definitely given some new, uh, like, directions the show can go in, which it pulled off well for the most part. A couple clunky episodes, but, uh, hey, uh, I'll give them some time to find their legs uh, for whatever this new incarnation of the show is going to be. Series 9 may well just build on this and do it better. But for now, this is definitely, like, good enough. I don't like it as much as some other people, but... Um, I, it's better to me than, like, 
any given 10 season, I'll say that. Uh, better than Series 7, definitely. So just take that for what it's worth. I had a lot of fun doing this. Hopefully I'll see you next season.